Welcome to the 2008 Free Press Hall of Shame, where we honor the best of the worst America has to offer in media, democracy, and your right to free speech. The 2008 Hall of Shame nominees for Worst Corporation are Verizon. They got caught blocking text messages from this pro-choice group, sparking a joint condemnation in the Washington Post from both pro-choice and pro-life groups. They don't agree on much, but they agree on this one. Our next Hall of Shame nominee, cable giant Comcast. They got caught blocking web traffic in BitTorrent Gate. Then, paid people off the street to fill seats at a public hearing to block real citizens from getting in. Honestly, I'm just getting paid to hold somebody's seat. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. They're a current front runner in Consumerist's Worst Company in America contest for 2008, spawning legions of customer hate groups and videos. Comcast must die! Next up, Big Media Behemoth, Viacom. For telling writers it was too soon to put a dollar value on digital content, while telling others it was actually worth millions. Viacom will double its revenues this year from digital. And the 2008 Shamey for Worst Corporation goes to... AT&T. America broke up the AT&T monopoly in 1984, but AT&T is back, baby, and it helped the NSA set up a secret room at AT&T's central office to help the Bush administration illegally spy on Americans. Some telecom companies will break multiple laws to help the government spy on you because they love America and freedom so much. Uh, unless the government stops paying them to spy then they'll disconnect spy service. After all, freedom isn't free. No, it isn't. And America did pay, and pay some more, soaring AT&T to record profits. CEO Big Ed stepped down last year with one of the biggest retirement packages in history, 150 million. And new CEO Randall Stevenson is continuing AT&T's winning ways. He plans to gut net neutrality once and for all. AT&T, your world delivered to them. <laughs>